for the book question to design. Erin the book question. So, first of all, I'm gonna introduce this book. Dead Storm Runner, J.C. Servants, Rick Riordan Prisons, dun 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 dun. And it's a great book. This book is about a boy named Zane who finds out that he is a, he is a godborn, the godborn son of a Mayan god. And he finds out that gods, monsters, and demons are real. And that he was in the middle of a prophecy, the prophecy of fire, that might end or save the world. Let's get right on to it. So Zane has its own private mountain in behind in his in his little yard. And he calls it the Beast. And in the Beast, he doesn't know it. And so he was homeschooled, but his mother made him go to school yet again. And when he went to school, he met the prettiest girl in the world. At least that's what he thought. And he met Brooke. But when he then later, he found out that Brooke didn't go to that school. What? That's so weird. And then Brooke told him the truth, opened his eyes to a world of monsters, myths, gods, and uh, one particular god. Who wants to destroy the world? Yay! I don't know what it is about these books with thunderbolts. I mean, Arusha and the End of Time, Percy Jackson, Lightning Thief. They all, and even Stormrunner, they all end up with the main character of the Lightning Bolt. Percy Jackson, he has to find the Master Bolt of Zeus before the Summer Solitist, I think. So, or he dies. Arusha and the End of Time. Um, our arrow's main weapon is a lightning bolt. And in Storm Runner, the main character in the last most glorious part finds finds us finds a lightning bolt and had puts it inside his stunted legs. Oh by the way, I missed one of the most important facts of Zane. He is stunt legged. Called a serpent leg. So one feet is longer than the other. One feet is longer than the other. So he has to use a cane to get around. You know what I mean? One feet is longer than the other. For, for the god, that means that symbols power. And he was to become the storm runner. For his father was the god of storms. And he was the creator god. I'm not going to tell you his name. You, you just have to find out. Also, it's very hard to pronounce. I don't want to be embarrassed in front of a hundred million people. Anyway. It's a really great book. And so, Brooke, she says, is actually a Nawal, a shapeshifter. She can turn into a hawk. And together, together, Brooke and his uncle, who is a pretty good fighter, actually, which is kind of weird, and, of course, the main character, Zane, they have to go on a quest. A quest to stop the evil god who happened to just be buried in the beast, the huge, the little tiny volcano that the that is in Zane's yard, and the evil god is trapped inside there. Zane is supposed to free it, and when he does free it, how is Zane planning on stopping him without the god's help? Because, just in case you didn't know, just because the story had to just get more complicated, they can't. Get help from the gods. Yeah, they can't get help from the gods. Why? Because the gods don't know Zane exists. They said they swore a vow that no one shall break the oath of making another godling. And a godling was made. A godling was made. And they didn't know that. So if a godling was made, they would immediately want to kill that godling. I know, bad stuff. It's a great book, has the good old thrills of the Percy Jackson series, and I think Rick Riordan taught the J.C. Servants well. And like always, the bookquester and the bookquester. I changed all the layerings of this, guys. I know you can see all this old stuff behind here, but when the new books come in, we order a lot of new books, it's gonna fill the shelf and it's gonna be awesome.
Bye, guys.